The Planetarium Ghost This happened shortly before the summer holidays. Our class, 5-3, visited the planetarium. I loved constellations, so I was really looking forward to this particular day. We formed a single line, girls first, then boys, and entered the building. I was so excited. The building was huge, and the ceiling high above us as well. In the middle of it was a large machine. I knew that it would project the, star the starry sky on the ceiling. Before I knew it, we were to take our seats, starting from the person at the back. Because we were going in order of our seat numbers, I was 13th. Unable to wait for everyone else, I started counting to find which would be my seat. One, two, three, Everyone else started to do the same, counting on their fingers to find their seat. This one's mine, I said, and when I went to sit down, the person next to me said something strange. Hey, isn't that chair a little dirty? That weird stain kinda looks like blood. How creepy. Looking closer, there really was a dark red stain on the edge of the seat. Something didn't feel right. But the teacher said, make sure you sit in the right seat. So I decided to stay there. Finally, the show was about to begin and the lights gradually got darker. The summer constellation slowly appeared alongside the narration. A pitch black starry sky spread out above our heads. I could see several of my favourite constellations. There was Lyra, the Swan and Scorpio. They were all summer constellations. Then it finally changed to the autumn sky. Pegasus, Cassiopeia, Andromeda. It seemed somewhat cooler than the summer sky. Those constellations, those stars, so many light years away. Yeah, one day I'd love to become an astronaut and visit them. That was how I felt. But then suddenly, a strange spectacle appeared on the starry sky in the pitch black planetarium. On the other side of the constellations, something stared back. Two large eyes. They were human, and they stared right back at me. I looked around the room, but nobody else seemed to notice them. How strange. Nobody screamed either. And... Beneath those eyes, there was a wide open mouth. Then, those two eyes and mouth passed through the stars and started moving towards me. A mouth and eyes were moving through the pitch black starry sky. The mouth and eyes stopped right in front of me. I tried to stand so I could run, but my body wouldn't move at all. I couldn't move my head, nor my hands even one millimetre. The mouth and eyes grinned uncomfortably. Then a large hand reached out from beneath them, grabbing me. It pulled and pulled. It was like it was trying to take me back with it. Pulling and pulling and pulling. Come, come with me. No way, I didn't want to go. I clung to the chair with all my might, but the hand was too strong, and finally, my body was pulled up into the air. It's okay, just come with me, come. Someone help me, 
help! Let's live here together. Forever. In this fake night sky. No way! I didn't want to stay somewhere like that forever. I wanted to become an astronaut and travel the stars. I wanted to visit the summer and autumn constellations. When I screamed this out loud, the grip on me suddenly weakened. I see. So you still want to live then, huh? Yes. There are still so many things I want to do. I see. I hope someday you can visit space for real. Well then. Suddenly, the mouth and eyes and hand disappeared. As I struggled for breath, the autumn constellations above my head changed into the winter ones. And then, I passed out. When I came back to, the show was over, and my friend next to me was shaking me. Hey! Wake up! Ah, uh, you're awake! <laughs> you were asleep for a while there. Bright light pierced my eyes when we went outside. After that, I quietly heard a story from the woman working at the ticketing area. Apparently, someone with money troubles killed themselves in that planetarium a year earlier. Apparently, that person really loved the stars and always went there. I think the seat that person died in was no doubt the one I was sitting in. People say that when we die, we become stars. But for those who die with lingering hatred and regret, they're stuck in the place they died, unable to become real stars. After seeing that, I was convinced of it.